hello again and uh welcome back uh yeah warzone again i've got quite a lot of the new triple a titles like um like forza and uh vanguard but i this warzone is still the only game i'm playing so uh yeah i wanted to make a video and uh yeah, you kind of can't make a video about a game that you don't play, so um, we're stuck with Warzone, I'm afraid. Um, but today is a bit different because I'm playing at 4K and with DLSS uh, set to performance, so that's a change from usual where um, normally I play on 1440p. Um, most of my settings are pretty high, uh, shadows turn to low. Um, but yeah, big change today is that I'm actually running at 4K. And actually looking at it, even obviously this is the lobby, um, looking up in the in the kind of hundreds, which is, or 90s, hundreds, which is quite nice. Um, because it does look, I do think it looks that little bit more crisp than 1440p on this, on this screen. So it uh, be interesting to see how we get on. But yeah, I think I'm going to, I've I've been running... Uh, this this Swiss build um, for a, for a while now. I, I didn't used to snipe a lot because I'm rubbish at it, but I'm trying to get better and uh, I'm, I'm just trying to um, push into using like SMGs and snipers, um, trying to make sure that my 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 time to kill is really competitive at, at close and medium to long range. Um, I feel like I've always used ARs as like my comfort zone, but um, yeah, not today. But we'll see how we do. Anyway, um, I've got a theory that Warzone's got easier since Vanguard came along because um, I've been playing a lot of Vanguard, or a little bit of Vanguard, and uh, it just feels like it's got a really quick TTPA, so um, I find it find it a challenge. I think it's it's helped me to brush up my skills a bit, but I, I just figured that all the sweats are in Battle Vanguard Royale. and not in uh, not in Warzone. Thought it was a good time to jump in. Head down to my little zone at this side. Zone marked. Get ready. few places in the map I like to land where um, I tend not to drop particularly hot at the moment. Um, I'd rather kind of build up, get my load out and then and go on the offensive. But I tend to find that um, if I land here I can get reasonable loot and it's, it's always decent if there's a, a, like a scab to pick up. So. Have they nerfed LMGs? It just feels like I'm so slow with this thing. So have you guys been getting on with Vanguard? Um, I think I'm, I'm giving it a bit of a miss for now. Like it just feels like there's too many bugs. Like people one shotting me with a sh shotgun. Have you seen those incendiary rounds in the shotgun where only one pellet has to hit you and you're dead? It's ridiculous. And they need to fix some of that stuff. I think this guy's just camping the stairs. I 
do like this. This um, green ground loot OTS is is pretty amazing. Obviously, it isn't suppressed, but it's got hella good TTK. difference between this the purple one's got a longer barrel Objectives updated. Move to the next location. does that make it better though hit him with that second one as well. How did he not die? PPSH. I think it's underrated. I don't like this one though because it's got a scope. But it'll do. Another stairs camper. So I always think you've got such an advantage if you're pushing a building rather than camping the stairs because all he's going to see is me flying around a corner. Whereas he, I think he's pretty. Oh no, he's moved. I was going to say I think he's pretty static. We'll see. They still had the Friendly red doors. I haven't online. seen one in ages. Copy. Advanced UAV entering the AO. Scanning for hostiles. Moving position. <clears throat> Friendly loadout drop on the way. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Be advised, advanced UAV is bingo fuel, returning to base. Moving. Let's see if we can pick this dude up. So anyway, I've had this uh, razor blade since January, and I've not had a single fault, a single crash with it. Um, pretty impressive. And I game on it like for hours, and it, it doesn't let me down. And the the screens are like, if you haven't seen one of these screens, it's it's incredibly impressive. It's really good. I think something that um, 
Razer don't get a lot of credit for though is their keyboards like um, it might be just because I'm used to it but um, it's really nice for gaming on it's really like um, clicky and tactile like, I'm not that interested in having a mechanical ke keyboard on my laptop I think this is fine gas is closing get to the new safe zone He was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit bold going to a loadout when he's getting sniped at. Who's this uh, most wanted? But why does anyone take a most wanted contract? Enemy UAV overhead. Like, I get it if you're a baller, but I've never seen, like, yeah. Surely you still wouldn't want to make a target of yourself. Oh my god. That sniper. Yeesh. come this way though I think this is when dead silence will come in handy
Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Heading this way. So someone asked me in the comments um, section on my my Vanguard video. Oh man, uh, if this thing has loud fans, it does. <laughs> no louder than any other gaming laptop though probably quieter um, oh my god Oosh. I might get away with this yeah what Apple have just done with their um their new MacBooks has completely changed the way I feel about laptops because if they wanted to they could easily make a gaming laptop that doesn't make any noise whatsoever and performs as well as this it's nuts it's largely uh, just more efficient CPU performance though um, like they are so far ahead of Intel and AMD at the moment in terms of uh, kind of power efficiency and heat management and and just raw performance um, so I actually think it makes you know, we, uh, lots of us use these gaming laptops I, I love it I think it's a great device but I just think in two three years time this thing is going to look like a dinosaur because I can't believe that um, Windows machines aren't going to catch up with Apple and be running, the, you know, these super silent, super cool, really highly performant devices. They, they it just can't be far away. Just driving to a place of the map where I can uh, play up. Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Moving. If you've got a gaming laptop from like, I don't know, anything I think from 2019 onwards, you're probably still able to play AAA games really well. Um, there's no need to upgrade, not yet. 
Like, I, I got seriously tempted. At, obviously, Razer brought out a new version of the Blade 17. I still think the Blade 17 is the best device on the market um, in terms of gaming laptops. I just think in terms of build screen, performance, uh, cooling. Requesting recon. Uh, I like the keyboard. I like the style. I like the style of the laptop. I still think they're the best. And when they brought out this uh, new version with the, the 11th gen Intel and the and the 130 watt GPU, I was tempted, but like this thing still runs. I mean, look look at the screen. Look how good this looks, right? <laughs> it's not struggling. You should see it play Forza as well. I can play Forza in 4K, uh, 75, 80 frames per second. Just looks silky, silky smooth. Really good looking game. Definitely Resident Evil Village anything they all look great so I don't know I mean what what you're gonna get like 10 10 extra frames per second it's not worth spending the money on I don't think don't get me wrong if like I was gonna buy one today and I didn't have one I'd get that one but I think if you're buying a, a gaming laptop this year you you're gonna be good for a few years I just think you just get tempted like, by what other companies do and Right, we've got a dude in the building next door. He set up camp. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I can get a peek at him though. I shouldn't have shot him, I should have let him walk further out into the open. Uh, oh man. Reloaded. Anyway, I got rid of my Blade 15 uh, with the 2070. I just didn't use it anymore. Like, the second I started using this device, I never touched the other one, so I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd get rid. Enemy launched an advanced I, I ran that exposed. for over two years with, like, no problems. That's not to say that you can't have problems with Razer gear, though. I mean, I've, I've seen the, I've seen the, you know, the threads on Reddit and Obviously, uh, I, I I follow what um, what Evil Pastor's up to. Um, that guy buys a lot of laptops, um, but no, absolutely the 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 black screen issue that people have with some of these laptops is a thing. Uh, I've never I've always been lucky. Um, I'm not I guess on the other side of that story. That um, yeah, just not had any issues. Oh, come on. This guy's clearly not going to be stupid enough to show his face there again, is he?
purple Swiss is still doing well. Anyone ever use them sentry turrets? You think the play is just to go and pick up that truck? Oh no, I'll never get it up. Up the cliff. Just wary of that dude bombing around in his car. That's it. Oof. I had no idea that was the last dude. <laughs> right, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll try and post videos more regularly from now on, I promise. Uh, anyway, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be fantastic. And a sub would be even better. So, um, but yeah. Hope you enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.